Bailey. <laughs> yes. What has been, if at all, your yes. most recent and or significant Karen experience? Okay, so in another lifetime, Ben Jamin and I worked at another place, right? And Ben happened to be the receptionist. It's amazing! <laughs> it's amazing! I had to get that out, yes. And so there was a woman that came in, had been to one of those, an event, and was dissatisfied with what she and her son won and thought that she should have won a bigger prize. <laughs> And so they wanted to speak to a manager. So then that manager that was over that department came out. She wasn't happy. And she was just like, you know. And, yes, it was a middle-aged Caucasian lady. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so then she demanded to see the higher up, the highest manager in the building right here, right now. Boom, 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 boom. Just, um, this this uh, is my just favorite out. part. Fall out. It's my favorite part. And so they're like, okay. So they called me up because I was. <laughs> I, I just want to know. Because I know if you if you go to YouTube and watch us live, can you just depict the look on her face when you came she out? She was like, <laughs> hold on. Let me, let me take my glasses off so you can see. Right? She was like, <laughs> you're the manager? Oh, <laughs> man. And I was like, yes, ma'am. I am the manager. How can I help? Well, we didn't win this prize, and we thought, and and there was so many. I was like, ma'am, I, you know, I mean, there's so many people that entered. Well, at that event, that was there was that, but you didn't have to just be there, though. You right. understand that there are rules, right? Have you seen our rules? Well, we post them right on our website, right here. You want to go look at them? I'm gonna give you a few minutes. Can you pull the computer for her, please? Thank you very much. She's still processing the fact that you're the boss. Exactly. That's, I'm just letting you know right exactly. now. She was still. <laughs> She was still processing that. <laughs> She's like, wait a minute, what? So what's interesting, and, and you know what? As I'm as I'm we're talking about Karen's and I'm doing the research. Do you agree? I, I believe so. I believe that if one of my friends, female friends, mm -hmm. who happens to be white, said to me, Denise, I just got Karen. Right. You know, as we're having this conversation, I'm like, she, she could. Now, Alex. Right. Before we get into your Karen experience, for those that are new to the truth or new to Truth to Be Told with DT and Telly, I'm saying this for the context of the story. Our amazing producer, Alex, it, I'll let you, what is your ethnicity race before uh, we get to you? Hispanic and then Italian white. Okay. Now, if you look at Alex. Oh, wait, you Hispanic. All right, all right. Told you he likes me. I you, I told you he likes me. But, but for the purpose of, <laughs> from uh, from an optic standpoint, if you saw Alex walking down the street, you would yeah. say, there's a white guy. Yeah, there's a white guy. So, Alex, tell us about your Karen experience. Okay, so me and my girlfriend, when we walk the dog in the city and everything, there's garbage cans out in alleys. Grab his poop, pick it up, put it in a bag, tie it up, put it in the garbage. No big deal. We're at my parents in the suburbs, and we do the same thing. Pick up the poop, put it in the bag and everything, wrap it up, and I put it in someone's garbage. A couple doors down, this lady comes out of her house. She goes, who do you think you are? What are you doing? I'm like sitting there confused. What do you mean? She goes, why are you putting that dog's poop in that garbage? That's not your garbage. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. That's just something we always do. She goes, I'm going to call the cops on you. Karen. Oh, Karen. that's straight up Karen activity. Key, key indicators of a Karen. Who do you think you are? Yep. Why are you here? Yep. What are you doing? Right. And I'm going to call the police. Yeah. Those was, are key. Hey, I was waiting for the lady to call the cops on me, too. You couldn't possibly be the manager. Uh, I'm calling the police. Okay. Okay, well, here's <laughs> here's my Karen experience. I actually had two big ones. Uh-huh. But the one where I, I you know, I, I, I took it there. I was like, okay, I'm going to give you the same energy you're giving me. So, I was here in Milwaukee. Right. At a uh, club that requires membership. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. And traditionally, black folks yeah. weren't there. Right. And for a number of members, probably shouldn't be there. Right. And so I was upstairs having lunch. And by the way, DT often gets into these exclusive locations. I keep <laughs> trying to get her to take me with her, but has she taken you, Alex? Oh, Al okay. Look, 
Okay, go ahead. Go Anytime, ahead. Bailey. I would in. I would be honored to go just anywhere. Trying to get in. Just trying anywhere. To get in. I got you. <laughs> I would be honored to go anywhere with you, Bailey. And seriously, in all seriousness. And seriously, in all seriousness, you can tell the coffee is not kicked in yet. Okay. But anywho. I love how the YouTube chat board is going crazy. They, they Thank y'all so much. They I love this. Y'all, please, you gotta you gotta go to YouTube and watch this live. Not not if you're driving, please don't. <laughs> Otherwise, you can hit us up on the Truth Talk and Text Line at 833-212-1017. So I'm I'm eating lunch. Okay. And I so Bailey, Alex, I go out to eat by myself often. Okay. I am dating myself. I'm not mad at I want to be I, I want to be too. ready. So I do it too, girl. I do it too. I'm sitting there with my lunch uh-huh. and my iPad. Okay. Watching whatever. Right. And when I initially opened up there was I guess some feed that was coming it was loud. Okay. And you know how it is like when you're somewhere where it's quiet right. and all of a sudden like your phone just, right, just you're like oh <laughs> you're trying to hurry up and you know turn the volume down. And so there was a a Karen. Okay. And she was with her friend. Okay. And Bailey, when I tell y'all, she gave me this, I like if this, the cliche, if looks could kill. Right. Oh my goodness. She gave me this look like of disgust. Oh, wow. And her intention with that look, I could tell was just to humiliate me. And she was just like, you know, like, how could you be in here? And then you're playing your loud mute type oh, look, right? Okay, gotcha. So... She caught me on the day that that um, that wasn't the so day. I looked at her. That wasn't the day. For and you. I said, <laughs> uh, it, "It wasn't Bailey." I was like, um, "It's just volume. No one's going to die." I I just turned it down. This Karen was like, "No, she didn't talk back to me. No, she didn't." First oh. of all, I don't even want your kind here. And then you talk back. Oh. So fast forward. You know, I, I leave. Fast forward the next day. Uh huh. I get a phone call. Uh huh. From the manager. Oh, really? And do you know they have the audacity to try to chastise me? Because this Karen, after they left, Uh took the time and energy Uh to depict me as someone who was disturbing their peace. As if I walked up in there, sat down and just played this movie or any type of audio for like an unlimited amount of time and was just loud. Wow. Now, the manager that called me, Uh did he ask me what happened from my lens? Did he ask me my side of the story? No. Wow. And so, needless to say, I'm not a member of there anymore. Uh I ain't going to pay you to treat me like. That's one one thing as a black person to get to experience bias every day. But me pay you to do it? Pay you to do it. Membership over.